home lists ever with her. Something very exciting has happened. The pet's page of your spell book now links to your pet toe. The pet tome lists every pet, highlighting the pets you own. Your tome begins with all pets in your inventory. You'll need to update the rest. Check your bank and attic and visit all your houses to automatically add the pets in those places to your tome. Catalog them all. Woo! Young wizard, can't wait to tell you about my favorite pastime, fishing. Come find me by the water in the commons. Wizard! <laughs> Excited to tell you about an amazing new feature in the pet pavilion, the hatch making kiosk. Go check it out. With her, something very exciting has happened. The pet's page of your spell book now links to your pet tone. The pet tone lists every pet, highlighting the pets you own. Your tone begins with all pets in your inventory. You'll need to update the rest. Check your bank and attic and visit all your houses to automatically add the pets in those places to your tome. Catalog them all.
down, down here, near the ground. Yes, me. Fear me. For I am the prince of Darkmoor. Cursed to be a bunny. Beaten by a vampire. Then dropped between physical and spiritual planes. I am a ghostly vampire bunny. And I once tried to control this at city with my hypnotic gaze. Alas, I was sealed in the caves with the other undead. But Malus there destroyed our treason, sent us to cause chaos. And then his brother provided an easily swayed army of trolls and cowfits. Sadly, yours is too keen an intellect to fall for my diabolical cuteness. So instead, sit down, General! <laughs>
not giving up that easy. Ages. You'll see. 
One day, the Great One will return! <laughs> the Great One will return. In the storehouse of snow, we return to gold. I vow I will honor my word and restore order to the stream. and Warhorn seem more docile now. I take it that means we were successful in defeating General Achilles. More like this wizard was successful, bro. Doesn't look like you moved an inch since you got us captured. Now, now, let's not point fingers. We succeed and fail as a team. And I will report our success to Professor Drake as such a team effort. Whatever you say, Nolan... Wizard, you should head back to Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town and tell him Psychops Lane is under control. Psychopees went mad, there was going to be a then fair. You know, everyone in fancy dress pretending to live in the past. That's what these tents were for, but I guess they barely started setting up before everything went off the rails. Then fair is one of my all time favorite events of the year. Can you convince some merchants in the shopping district that it's safe to return? Ask Victor Darkwood about costumes, Lloyd Fallingwater about stands, and Pierre Gallopmane about prizes. Costumes for the then fair, huh? Well, I do enjoy making those old-timey clothes. Nice change of pace. But I heard about all the problems on Cyclops. Oh, you handled it. Well, look at you. Eh, sure then, I'll make them then costumes. Welcome. 
welcome customers to do or DIY, where your home is your castle if you build it yourself. Ah, the then fair is back on? Great! I'll start chopping the wood and forging the nails I'll need to build the merchant stands post haste. Something and turn quickly to burn my presence. The then fair? <laughs> that silly little harlequinade of infants and imbeciles dressed as cavemen or something equally regressive? Oui, I can participate. Alas, my prize rings have been stolen. The rings to fire, ice, wind, dirt, and the fifth one, but I care not for it. I spit on its name. Pitsy. The guards, such as they are, found the thieves in houses on the Unicorn Way, Triton Avenue, Cyclops Lane, and the Dark Cave. If you wish prizes for the then fair, recover those rings and take them to the girl who sent you.
do was use a magic ring to reduce this world to cinders, and this is the thanks I get! Take the ring of fire! I've already done my part. You'll never reach the others before the destroyer rises. <laughs> Hey, Rivera. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. No. Yeah, because you know I suck with time. Oh, don't worry. Is it? Oh, Adam's view pretty lady. That's good. Yeah, I can tell because you're damn cute. <laughs> like always. Thank you. Well, basically. Basically, so far, uh, I think... The 70s is actually winning. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. With the latest poll, the 70s is winning. Yeah. So far, 14 votes, and. Whenever. Like, uh, yeah, whenever yeah. I do votes, it's like. I hardly ever get any votes. Well, to be honest, I think it's because your channel is barely recognizable. I think that's probably the real reason. Either. I'm lucky enough if I could get 20. <laughs> Seriously. The only reason people vote like crazy on my channel is the Loud House. Yeah, I can see. I'm good. Spoken with the boys lately? The boys, you know, Nate and. Recording. I don't want to get uh, a what you call it. I don't want to get a claim on my channel. I don't know how you can get a claim when it's from SoundCloud, but yeah. I don't know how the fuck YouTube can hear music. I it could be like I could be playing my like I could be doing a video and then somebody could be playing music in the other room and I'm like, how does YouTube know what the fuck is playing? They don't sometimes. Sometimes they just do it to get under your skin. I don't but understand I that. that I don't even understand. I, that's the thing that pisses me off because instead of like taking down the video, I have to fight tooth and nail to get that claim off that video. Good luck. That never happens. 
never usually works. Oh no, it's been, I've done it before because it really does work. Because I tell my friend, you can't be playing music or whatever in the background because I have you on speaker. Yeah, but I'm just saying that it usually never works when it comes to actual songs and the videos alone. It will work, right? Even, it could be even from SoundCloud. Like, I don't understand how anything is copyrighted on SoundCloud because last time I checked, anybody could download there. So that's a bogus claim, if you would say, you know? It's because of this, I don't even try to use copyright music anymore. I'm just using shit out of SoundCloud. So, yeah. It's just annoying as always, like... Yeah, it is annoying, but unfortunately it's the guidelines, which I believe is both for app in my honest opinion. Yeah, it's like I told you about my other friend on YouTube. I told the three of you what happened when he tried to fight, you know, YouTube to get it off. And not only that, but if YouTube appears to not want me to hear anything what you have to say or what your boyfriend wants to say about my content either. I don't know what because the fuck I you is. Because you remember that time when I actually posted that community tab, your boyfriend wrote something and then... You said, oh, did you see what my boyfriend wrote when I looked and I didn't see anything there? Because I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are you, you know, and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but basically, apart from that, you know, um, I, uh, whenever you're done with your streaming, let me know and I can show you the song because it's not that long, I think. Oh, yeah, it's not that long. Yeah, YouTube just- I, I have, like, a big fear of them. Just- they don't- that's their thing, it's like- I mean, I think I told you what happened with my old channel, and I did make a video on why I don't even use it anymore. I wouldn't even waste my time, because, like I stated, when it comes to certain content, and you did say GTA makes your channel notice, I kind of find that little bit of debatable because when I looked at your channel, your GTA videos hardly get any views. Depends so, yeah, on... Kind of a little bit debatable. Oh, so, yeah. son of a fuck! So tragically, you know, if you, the best thing I think that I should probably say is you're probably, if you're gonna want to get your channel noticed more, the best thing that I think you should do is probably join one of one day on us on the streams. That's the only way it's probably gonna happen. Um, because, because I notice if you do content on your own, even if, like me, it barely gets any views. Especially if nobody knows who you are. So yeah, that's the problem. And YouTube, you know, it's like I stated, it's pretty discriminatory. If you're not Jake Paul or Logan Paul or or pretty much whatever the fuck her name is, you know, um, Tana Mojo, people don't know you. So yeah, that's the problem. Man, that was annoying. Because, you know, you're always wondering why your viewership is so low and why you're, you barely get subscribers. That's the problem, you know? We are the planet Sounds like my drunken neighbor. Yeah, I'm still, like, watching a lot of Ed, Ed and Eddie, and me and my friend would just quote the damn thing. Yeah, but at least Ed, Ed and Eddie was funny. I mean, this is garbage, in my opinion, you know. 
Don't let my buddy hear you say that. Well, I doubt he can hear me anyway, so... <laughs> nah, it's just that he watches my videos, but he's also my best friend in, uh, real life. We, uh, met in, we met in middle school, but then he, um, then he moved. Yeah, a lot of people move nowadays. It's pretty much, you know, getting pretty much like a pickle. You know, it's like there's nothing you can do. Once pretty much you move, you gotta leave. There's nothing you can do. It's bad, but there's, like I said, it's life. You gotta deal with it. Of course. It's a phantom called the Fear of Gentle Breezes. Well, I think that phantom should probably, you know, stop smoking once in a while so we can understand what whatever it is saying, you know? <laughs> That's why, you know what I hated? Because my school was getting really mad, I think, because of the, um, vaping. That was a trend back then. I think it still is now. I don't give a crap about vaping for multiple reasons. One, I don't do drugs because, you know, that's stupid. And two, another thing uh, is that I don't give a care crap about the vaping is one, you know, majority of the people who vape, depending on who they are, end up in jail the next day. Or sometimes they end up killing each other for vaping, you know? Yeah, the thing is, like, some kids, like, I was at the store today, well, yesterday with my friends, and these girls were like asking people to um I think for money on asking them to buy vape for them I'm like are you fucking serious so they did ask me and they asked a lot of other people but of course you probably said hell no I'm not I'm like, you want to kill yourself? I'm like, you know that it's just a matter of time until it's over. Well, that's the problem. A lot of these kids think they know everything and, the, and just they wonder why they're the agent. first to die. The agents Seriously. Are ingredients in crafting recipes. You can find different reagents I throughout the spot, either by harvesting them and that's the saddest part. Because, you know, a lot of these kids, they think they the know agents everything know and what happens is when. Which you can once access it turns out the that crafting tab in once reality your strikes, or by it's pressing too late. A on your keyboard. Yeah. People just don't know what they're doing. They do, or they're just too stupid and they choose to not listen. And if that is the case, then it's very petty. Very, very petty. It's like those, it's like those idiots in the Darwin Award series. My fellows already imbue him with the power of a fire. And I'm not gonna lie, the people who die in the Darwin, in the Darwin Award series are no longer missed because it was a tragedy that killed them. It was stupidity that killed them. It's not sad, and it's when stupidity kills you. It's super important. Because you knew what you were doing, you ch and you knew that this shit was gonna kill you, and you chose to do it anyway, and then you lost your life. And then you wonder why in the afterlife you're the biggest laugh and the stock of people make fun of you. Honest to God, I just don't even see it as, um, I mean, there were kids that would do it, and I guess if a teacher, like, they would actually use the bathroom excuse to do it. I gotta say, I gotta say, it's pretty 
If I actually did that, my mom would street fight uppercut my ass. Vaping is not my cup of tea, so, like, I just choose to keep my mouth, but I also keep, tend to keep my body clean. Like, my lungs, my, my, you know, my vital organs, the stuff that it can really affect. I wish there was a way I could have done it, because my mother was a huge, huge fucking smoker. Are you serious? Like, she was the smoker. Are you serious? Yes, and she still is to this day. She constantly used to smoke every fucking day. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, my mom, and I, my... And unfortunately, you know, because of that problem, I ended up having to inhale most of that crap. I'm gonna be... Let me be honest with you. My mom had somebody in the house, and they would smoke constantly. And she hated it. She hated the smell. Are you sure? I can't It's like, honest to God, do you not know what the fuck you're doing? Careful. I don't know, people have some stupidity just for whatever, man. Holy crap, I almost walked into a fight. <laughs> All the shopkeepers agreed to help us, and you stopped angry ghosts from destroying the world? This is shaping up to be the best fun fair ever. Oh, and you even have rings we can give out as prizes. Let's see, dirt... Fire, wind, water, and guts? Like, actual guts? Neat. That's disgusting. Let's just put that last one away. I don't Thank think I so want to hear it either. Make sure you visit the men fair when it's up and running. Yeah, I don't think I can... Oh shit, I gotta... Oh, level 9, and she'll be out of the apprentice hood soon. Yeah, I remember in the Godzilla team, Israel did say something like, Oh, you're gonna die a slow, painful death to, to Rivera. I just it, Israel's Actually, on Godzilla, on Godzilla team, it was just really this is funny or not funny. It's the one where Israel's like telling Rivera, "You're gonna die a slow and painful death." No, that's what Israel. It was one of the episodes. I don't remember. I think they were destroying crystals or some shit. Oh, wait a minute. You're talking about season two, right? With, uh, with the 
uh, with the eyelid, destroy any crystal he had that you see from now on. Even though he, people were not going to like it for very long, they use that shit. <laughs> You're gonna die a slow and painful death as, uh, Rivera. So we're doing it. <laughs> what the fuck? That was scary. 